In this lecture we will learn about excavation. Excavation is a process of moving earth, rock or other materials. It can be done manually, with equipment or with explosives. It includes activities such as digging, earthwork, trenching, tunneling and underground work. Excavation includes two primary steps. Cutting involves removal of material from an area in order to reduce its height. Filling involves addition of material to an area in order to increase the height. Cutting activities are further divided into sub-activities such as clearing, loosening, digging, and hauling. Filling activities are further divided into sub-activities such as dumping, spreading, compacting, and leveling. The first step, cutting, involves area clearing and grubbing. Clearing. It involves removal and disposal of trees, bushes and other unwanted vegetation or organic materials. Grubbing. This step involves removal and disposal of tree roots. All loose soils and plants should be removed from the roots and should be burnt, shredded or hauled off as required. Stockpiling. Top soil should be stockpiled during the clearing operation for future use. Stockpiles should be carefully located at places remote from other work so that they do not cause congestion or interference later in the job. Marking. Site should be marked according to the plan. Identify pillar placement according to building layout. Pillar should be provided 6 feet from the sides of the building so that it does not interfere with excavation. Once measurement are cross-checked, mark the center lines. Mark pit excavation measurement as per drawing considering the working space. Loosening. It is the process of breaking the material for removing. It involves drilling, blasting, chipping, ripping, pounding, splitting, cutting, or other operations to break material up so it can be removed. Loosening may be done by breakers, explosive, swinging balls, rotary drill, ripper teeth, hand picks, vibrators etc. Digging and hauling. Digging is the most critical process as this steps involves maximum time and money. It involves vertical movement of material. Hauling primarily involves horizontal movement of material. It can be within plot or outside site premise disposal. Efficiency of digging is very important. Based upon size of work, equipment available, proper methodology needs to be planned. The digging operations should be as fast as possible. The bucket digs should be enough to be completely filled within the length of its path of movement. Rig size. The capacity of excavator should be matched to the size of the hauling rigs being loaded considering lead. Size of bucket and capacity of dumpers. Precautions while digging. The bucket should not pass over the cab or operator. Ensure optimum travel path during dumping and delivery of excavated soil. The second step of excavation is backfilling. Backfilling involves spreading and compacting of filed material. The excavated material is stored on the ground to be used later as backfill where the filling is required. Quality of soil to be reused should have adequate strength, stable against volume change and be durable against future deterioration. Quality of soil to be reused should be relatively incompressible to avoid future settlement. Volume of earth hall should be equivalent to the concrete to be poured. Also, ensure that the stored material does not interfere with surveying. Digged materials should be free of clods, salts sulfates organic or foreign matter if fill material needs to be borrowed outside source should be approved beforehand spreading material should not be simply dumped in spoil areas and left in an unsightly condition as has been done in the past around some mines pits streams etc spreading and leveling are nearly always required in order to improve appearances and maintain proper drainage patterns Compacting, 
the process in which stress is applied to soil causing densification as air is displaced from the pores of the soil grains. Dressing, trimming of natural ground, excavated surface and filled up area to remove vegetation or small inequalities not exceeding 300 mm deep is known as surface dressing and it is measured in square meters. Lead the distance for removal shall be measured over the shortest practicable route and not necessarily the route actually taken is known as lead. It is measured in meter or kilometer depending upon the total distance. Lift. It shall be measured from ground level. It is the quantity of excavated material measured from the GL in the interval of 1.5 meters and thereof.